Yo everybody, welcome back. It's Club Shots here to play a little bit more Wayward. Let's see what we got going on. Today I want to just um, try some of these furnaces and such. I think they're going to be interesting. Do you want to start working towards that? Let me see. Um, skills. Cool. Let's see. Anatomy. My anatomy is pretty good. Damn. Sort direction. Um, level. Yeah. My gardening is so high. How is it so high? Wow. Okay. Maybe it's because I keep chopping down trees, huh? Tinkering, mining, anatomy, lumberjack, tactics, camping, cooking, stonecraft. I want to get like one of these all the way to the top. Pairing increases your base defense value when holding an item in each hand. Increases chance to take less damage in combat. Decreases chance of stamina <clears throat> reduction from being attacked. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. What's like the lowest? Throwing. Throwing is really low. Mycology, botany, leatherworking, tailoring. Okay. That's good to know. What is this? An arrow shaft. Okay. I have arrow shafts. A bark torch. I don't need a bark torch. I have a tallow torch. Haha. <laughs> I can probably make a couple of those, honestly. That might be the best use of tallow at the moment. Wooden fabric. Eight cordage. Dang. Okay. Interesting. Together into fabric. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and make a stone furnace. I'm severely overweight, so I'm just gonna slap some stuff in this chest here. See if I can bring that down. Still pretty heavy. Um, let's go and put that leather hide in there. We will move all that over. Move the stone over. Move this over. Move the fertilizer over, compost over. Still a little bit heavy. We can we can shut off a little bit more weight. We're not gonna die from losing a little bit of extra. There we go. All right, now we do need to chop down this. Actually, no, we'll put it over here in this corner. Let's go slot this down, build, just like that. All right. Um, is this gonna give me access to more stuff? Ooh, a backpack. Two tan leather, two string, and one needle. That's not difficult to do. Is that something I've always been able to do? I feel like I feel like it isn't. I feel like it's not something I've always been able to do. A rope. That's something new though. A leather tunic. That's something as well. I need to look for it. Paper mold. Okay. Okay. Hand drill. Nope, we're good. We got something better. Leather quiver. Well, let's look for um, let's look for arrow. Damn. Nope. I was hoping I could get a full blown arrow, not just an arrow head or anything like that. It's okay. Let's go and get a stone kiln. I think we can. Oh, I think we get a stone kiln real quick. You're poisoned. Oh yeah. I forgot about being poisoned, guys. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Let's just go mine some stuff out real quick. Nice. Carrying too much weight. Oh. Close that door. What you doing? What you doing there, buddy? Oh, look at that. A legendary rock. It's worth. Whoa. That was cool, man. Legendary rocks and stuff. Dang. Okay, cool. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of being poisoned. There probably is. I just don't know. I am basically super heavy right now. I'm gonna sleep. Sleep the night away. Oh, yep, I'm poisoned, right? So that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got both of these. Um, we should be able to just rest as long as possible. Uh, let me go ahead and use that bandage. A glass bottle of desalinated water. Huh. <clears throat> 
negative four health, three stamina, eight hunger, and negative two on that. So yeah, uh, I did read that afterwards. Three health, ten stamina, and two hunger, which is actually perfect. Oh. Oh, it's broken. Oh, whoops. Uh, let me <laughs> let me place that down real quick. Let me sleep. How much longer? I wonder if this is a long-lasting effect, or if I'm eventually going to be able to uh, fix that. Alright, I do think I need to make a fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap this into my open chest. There you go. Move that over. We're going to keep all these on us because they're really light. So actually we'll <laughs> lock pick. Uh, let's see. We'll move two of them. We only need two on us, right? Clay jug, water drill. Okay. Um, while I'm here, let's see if I can make... I can't. Okay. <laughs> Copal resin. Sure. Melted copal. Saltpeter. Slime glue. Need a fire source. I think it's going to be um, something I need to get, yeah? Because, yeah, this is starting to get out. Move all that to my inventory. Here, down here. I'll be going. There you go. Moved inventory. All right. Um, let's see what else we can snag real quick. Because I do need to make. All right. Let's see if one of these can allow me to. Oh. Um. Let's see. Bow drill. Start fire. No kindling. What does this say? Use fire. Oh, it's tinder. This is tinder. What is this one? Tinder as well. Hmm. This one feels like it should be kindling because paper is actually viable as kindling. Group kindling. So twigs are kindling. Let's see. Indeed they are. Nice. Look at how quick that was. Dang, I'm I'm good guys. <laughs> oh wait, what? You can only do one? What happened to the other two? Oh I need a liquid. Oh, that's so bad. It just took my water. Huh. Well, that's really not good. <laughs> huh. Let's go make one of those as well. Alrighty. Oh, a zombie? Bruv! What? Um, okay. Dude, stop missing him, bro. Okay. There you go. Do some damage. Just keep hurting him. broke okay bud hold still for a second okay <laughs> as in this chest Wait, what happened to my wooden sword I thought I had a wooden sword damn okay two blunt two piercing one slashing two slashing two piercing I feel like blunt's gonna be my best friend here yeah so let's do blunt and piercing and let's uh, melee him Oh. Oh, what? You can check mark this? Oh, that's interesting. Oh man, it, it is busting it up. And I can't even do anything about it. Appears to dislike the sun. Let's do let's try a stone axe on him. Oh man. Hit me for one. Appear to resist the attack. Nice. This might be the end, boys.
health issues. My well-being is at an all-time low. I'm bruised, battered, and nearly defeated. My only chance at a dis respite is through medical intervention. Rest, healthy foods, or ideally all three. <laughs> well, I don't really have any of those, do I? Oh. Let's see. Nothing there for me. Hey, oh, nope. My only way out of this is to fight and survive. We killed it. Okay, we have a big problem now, though. We have 2 HP. Um, and then the poison's gonna tick and at least hit me for one. I picked up a cloak? Equip that to my back, let's go. <laughs> okay, I probably just wasted a, a slot, but hey. Okay, we're just gonna have to pick up whatever's here and hope that something on this guy is gonna give me Not death. Damn. Well, that was a really good, that was a really good run through. Let's go ahead and try that again. I think we're gonna do even better this time. Nope, don't wanna keep that safe. New game, hard, hardcore. Let's see. We definitely know. We definitely know. <clears throat> cool. Let's do this. We're using Clipped once again. That was really sucky, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Started off pretty decent. All right, we got a remarkable blue ornate book. Let's go and read it. The entire book seems to be stained with various chemicals and powders. Through my metallurgic experiments, I have found the best way to forge iron-based tools, weapons, and ingots was to cast large amounts of material to shape it. The best casting method I found using resources around me was sand casting. That's actually super cool. It's also super dangerous because if you don't know, if there's too much moisture in the sand, it can actually explode when the heat hits. Something to keep in mind. The primary ingredient for creating a sand cast is green sand, a mixture of clay flakes and refined sand. This allows for the malleability of creating the shape of tool and weapon heads, or even forming the ingots in which to work from. Next, we place the green sand in a flask. Okay. Bottom page sign, James. James Townsend, the smithy. Limestone powder as flux to refine ores. Alrighty, that's actually pretty useful. <clears throat> we have a wooden pole, we have a stone pickaxe. Let's go and slap that stone pickaxe as our number one here. Unpurified fresh water. So we are starting off in even harder. We got a shale. A brutal but sharp carving implement. Arrow shaft, cork. We could make a wooden spear. I don't think we need to though. I think we'll be okay. Just doing what I do. Let's go and dismantle this straight away. Have a little bit more. We could make a wooden sword. That could actually be really valuable. Early on weapon. Let's go and do a string. I know bow's kind of useless at the moment, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, I do think a, a spear is probably the most useful. Equip my left hand, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, let's see what's around us. There's a shark down there. Let's go ahead and collect this. Oh. There we go. Welcome to Welcome to Stranded. I awake. Okay, yeah, that's uh that's my day one stuff. Alrighty, our goal is gonna be um find a home. Find a suitable home. To start us off. Batter log, a stringy wet mass of seaweed can be used as quarry through eating in desperation. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more cordage then. There we go. More string the better, right? Go and pick up uh, this. And we also gonna want to pick up our stone. Oh, a trap with that's poison ivy. Whoops. Feeling and crafting. We kind of know how that goes. I just recently started to realize that there's those indications telling us like notes. So if you see me clicking that a bunch, that's why. <laughs> Because I'm barely starting to understand, really starting to see that and uh, register it properly. Okay, we're gonna go and collect some some rocks here. There you go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's gonna be really useful for us. Stone knife. 
perfect little starter. See another sharp one. There we go. All right, we have uh, pretty much everything we need. A couple stones here and there. I don't really know what we need for a stone hatchet or hammer. I think it's this, right? Need one string and one pole. That should be pretty easy to get. We just uh, carve up a tree here. How you doing, bucko? All right. We're gonna go attack this guy. There we go, look at that, easy. I'm gonna put my knife as a two, so I can do that a little bit more efficiently. Alrighty, that broke unfortunately, but the good news is we did get this. I'm gonna go and dismantle it, and we should be able to work on making bandages and things we need. Let's see, what else do we need? A stone axe might be really useful. One string, two sharpened rocks. Gonna get that string. Desalinate is gonna be really valuable early on. I'm gonna get the hammer built first though. We're gonna move that down. I do think four is gonna be a good number for that. Feels like four is kinda comfy. Kinda comfy on my fingers. So that's a two. That's a stone hammer. We'll make that a three actually. And um, yeah, let's gonna do this. Because we do want to make a uh, stone axe, which was right around here somewhere. I need, uh, I need a couple more poles. I need a pole and some string. So, we're going to keep on hacking away at this tree, I think. Um, corpse, item qualities, durability. Get rid of all that, we don't need it. Alright, cool. So I do think this is um, a decent amount of things that we need. I'm not going to worry about bandages just yet, just because obviously I don't need them. So, at the moment, since I don't need them, might as well not have them. I think we're going to make a full, like, a legit house this time, instead of looking for something. It's going to dismantle that real quick. Going to dismantle one of these. And one of those. Have a little bit of everything, a little bit of variety. We do want a fire plow. Actually, we'll try, I think we'll try a hand drill this time, yeah? Two wooden poles instead of a wooden pole, a log, and a sharp item. Friction. What is this one? Yeah, I mean. Doesn't say one's better than the other, right? Yeah, doesn't say one's better than the other. So we're gonna do this. Nice. Okay. Alrighty, and um, let's see. I think we need to break down one more, don't we? Maybe one of these poles? No, not definitely not one of those poles. Let's see. A cord sling. Several pieces of string wrapped around with a slot made for a projectile used to swing ammunition, increasing throwing range. Oh, what if we try to make some bullets out of that? Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna come over here real quick. We're gonna go ahead and rest for a bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and rest up once more. Nice. Stamina replenished. It appears you rested on the ground for a few minutes. Nice. Okay. Let's go and get some more stones here real quick. Oh, we can actually do it with our pickaxe now. There we go. We could make a deadfall trap. Not that we necessarily need it at the moment, but it might be useful at some point. I want to try to make a stone bullet. There we go. Let's go and try putting that in our hands, the sling that with her left hand. Let's try firing it. Sling. Ah, and it did in fact sling the bullet. 
notice the bullets there. We go sling, and there it goes. Cool. So we can actually farm up a couple of those and be pretty well off. What is that? Stone campfire. We will go and make one of those, because that is something we will be needing. Alright. See if we can make another See if we can make another sharp stone here. There you go, we got a couple there. I said we got a couple, we only got one really, but it's alright. Let's go and see. We need one string now, so we actually do need to just kind of tackle a tree until we get what we need. Alright, let's go and rest for a bit. It's going to take too much energy to, to do that without resting. Alright, is that enough to make... Nope, keep going. Oh, a claw worm. Come on. Don't do this to me. Not so early. Okay, cool. We, we slayed it out. Nice. Alright. Again, we're still not going to worry too much. There you go. There you go. Okay. Still no, not enough to make cordage. See, we get a branch. We did get a branch. That should be. There we go. Make some cordage. Make our stone axe. Bang! Just like that, guys. We have ourselves a nice little stone axe. So we got a hammer, an axe, and a pickaxe, all ready to go. We're not overweight, so let's keep going. Oh, I'm working with something exhaustion. Okay, let's sleep for a bit then. I was like, why am I moving so slow? Let's go and sleep love for a few minutes okay nice it's going to move over here to my right oh I'm overweight now okay that's okay I wonder if my thirst and hunger affect my my weight I wonder that's a very good thing to consider. Also, okay. So this will just uh, wear away eventually, I believe. Dur durability 14 out of 15, 12 out of 13. That kind of makes sense. Okay, um, let's go and drop one of the logs. I think that's probably some of the most heaviest items I've got. Let's go and sleep for a bit. There you go. This confounded burden, my pack is overflowing with heavy items that I will need to purge in order to decrease my encumbrance. Carrying this many items will slow me my, down my movement and heavily impact my stamina. Some of the heaviest things in my inventory include a stone campfire, a stone pickaxe, and a stone axe. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's go and get going. Oh, we're gonna trample that little tree. Yep. That's alright though. What is that? Grass. A small amount of growing grass. The plant is in its budding stage of growth. Interesting. I want all the little things that I can snag along the way. That's a snake. It's a slippery little snake. Pose Navi. Alright. Oh, nope. Not quite anything there. We just got a bunch of nothing. What is that? Twigs. I have a lot of twigs right now. I'm kind of okay with twigs. But this is a pretty nice open area. I'm not too concerned with having things around me or being scared of some sort of <laughs> creature. A feather. I've never gotten a feather before. I picked up a stone arrow. That's the last thing it was. Okay, a feather. A wooden arrow. Oh my goodness. I can actually use a bow and arrow. That's insane. Okay. 
I don't have to make an arrow shaft either. Just a straight bow and arrow. Okay. That's really wicked, by the way, guys. That's really wicked. I want to just run around and shoot arrows at people. <laughs> um, obviously, that, <laughs> that wasn't really the case as it went down last time. Oh, oh, let's not do that. I was getting too close. I'm not feeling comfortable with that shark there. Raw meat. Raw meat decayed, okay. That's what I thought. I was like, what just happened? Worm meat. Food item bait. Raw meat. Essentially, a mash of warm innards. Almost ground up into a paste. Definitely not the most appetizing, but can be cooked for better flavor. Alright. I kind of want to stay on this item island to my left here. A little bit concerned about going too far to my right. Because I do need to make a fire. An actual place to um, settle, basically. And I'm going to need to do that soon because I have a little bit of water. And a little bit of water somewhere. Right? What happened to my water, man? There it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of water is eventually going to go bad. This gives me a little bit of hydration, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's keep going. I think I'm going to go again by the stones. I kind of just really like the stones. I feel like it's a relatively safe spot to be. And there's also um, right around trees and such, so... So things could be worse. I think I made cordage out of that, right? Alright, I think what I'll do now, I'm just gonna drop, um. Damn, I don't actually don't know what to drop. I guess I'll drop the log again. Okay. Right here in the middle, I think, is a good spot. It's right around some caves, so we should be okay. I'm gonna go and build our. First little fire pit, and uh, we're gonna start up a fire. So let's go ahead and get that um, plow going, and see if we can be a little bit safe for the night. Where is our, it's not a plow, it's a drill, or a fire stick, yeah? Hand drill, there you go. Start fire. Well, this is gonna be a little bit of a slow, slow process, I do believe. There we go. Get that water. That's one of the first things we're going to need. Drink that up. There you go. Just like that. We're in a pretty good spot now. Let's go to cook that meat. There we go. We could make some compost. We don't really need to, though. Not at the moment. Okay. Well, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Let's, um, let's go and just mine out some of our rocks to the left here. And we'll try to make ourselves something nice to, uh, to sit around. Okay, let's stop doing that. <laughs> that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a struggle for another time. Yeah. Let's go make ourselves a deadfall trap. Oh, we need to sleep for a little bit. We are exhausted. There you go. Oh, our fire's a lit stone fire. Okay, let's go and stoke it. Make sure it doesn't go out just quite yet. Let's see. Tree bark. I do want my string. Tourniquet. Alright. Could be a stone hoe now. Stone shovel. Stone spear. Fishing rod. I'm going to try fishing. I haven't done fishing yet. We can make a shield, which might be like the difference between life and death quite literally bark leggings would be really nice too let's do the shield first there we go let's put that on just like that just like that we're in a pretty decent spot now now hopefully when things come we don't get um we don't get ambushed too hard we can at least defend ourselves to some degree. Um, I do need to stoke this fire more. So let's uh, 
There you go. Back to roaring. Back to roaring. I need to look around for more animals because I do not see enough animals around here. Let's go and keep them. Um, I think we want to make a fishing rod so we can actually, hopefully, maybe catch some fish. Oh, I'm, I'm too heavy. Okay, hold up. Let's see. Drop it all right there. There you go. Oh, and I'm exhausted too. Let's go and sleep. Doesn't quite matter too much where I sleep because obviously I don't really have a home. So. Alright, we're gonna stoke this fire again. I do wanna make that door though. That door is gonna be really valuable to me. Bam! Just like that. Instant. Nice. Sucky thing is, now I don't have any room to do some of that other stuff. All right, we're gonna slap the door down right here. <laughs> Build that. I know, a little bit silly. There's no way, there's, you know, you can just get around it, but. Come on. Note, reputation. I've never read this, let's see what it says. It seems that as time passes and the struggle for survival continues, the action I take which are adverse to the benefit of the island come back to haunt me. I will, when I sow plants or respect the island's inhabitants, less of them seem to be hostile. Likewise, when I gather resources to face the landscape or attack creatures, I see malice beasts much more frequently. Okay. Plus one. Strength increase. Yes. I'm all going to be all buff now, guys. Actually, let's, let's keep going. I'm gonna wear myself thin. There you go. Let me see if we can repair that. Nice. No, my fire went out. Damn. That's what I was trying to avoid. It's alright. By something stirring. Oh, that's a mouse. Um. Nice. Okay. Damn, it hit me. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, let's see if we can make some wooden walls. Working myself into exhaustion. I'm carrying too much. I understand this. There we go. Let me go and sleep for a bit then. Damn, okay. <laughs> I'm bleeding, that's not good. I can't make a bandage and I probably will have to. Yeah, let's make a bandage. I don't want to regret it later. There you go. I'm starting to get pretty hungry, so I do have to start up this fire again. Which is extremely unfortunate, but... You know, what can you do, right? Um, let's go ahead and strip down... I don't think we have to strip anything down. Let's go and just, uh... Let's go and just start that fire, yeah? There you go. Cook some tainted meat. Let's, oh, let's make some giblets. I think giblets are a little bit healthier, right? A little bit better to eat. Remarkable giblets, a batch of cooked animal organs, considerably repugnant, but nutritious and filling. Alright, let's go and eat that and see if uh, see if this is uh, decent. Alright, let's see what giblets... Negative one stamina, four hunger, and minus one thirst. Which isn't bad. Which isn't bad at all. Okay, we do want to cook up some... Or other meats though there we go keep us uh, keep us going for a while poisoned okay let's see what poison does my vision blurs as I write this my stomach tied in knots cooked tainted me has caused me to become poisoned I can feel myself getting weak even though the process even through the process of writing this note thirst and hunger consumes me 
and their well-being is in jeopardy. I must attempt to fabricate a cure. Perhaps plants of a medical nature may aid me in this bodily turmoil. Okay, well, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, but We will just uh, make another bandage for you and heal myself. Make sure I have uh, just as much as I can, really. Keep myself going for as long as possible. Um, yeah, let's just... Uh, we're going to need to go cut down some trees. Was a struggle. Close that door. All right. Let's see if we can stoke this fire again. There you go. Let's go to sleep before I uh, do much else. That poison is gonna keep me up for a while. All right. Let's see if we can collect this grass. Maybe this grass can. Do something for me. Blades of grass. All right. Can use that as tinder at some point. I've never had long-lasting poison, so. So yeah, let's see what inedible says. Consuming cooked tea meat. Yep. Okay. Dire Straits. I understand that. Let's go and rest some more. Hopefully I don't get lit on fire. <laughs> Alrighty, let's make another bandage. 13 HP. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we're almost out of liquids, so we actually have to pick up these stones here. And uh, we still don't have what we need, though. Let's try making a smooth stone and a sharp stone. Still not what we need, so we need to keep mining. Alrighty, what do we need? Oh, I need one string. Oh. I need this desalinator real bad. Okay. Drop all of that. We'll put this next to the fire because uh, it should be fine next to it. And again, we have to sleep. This is a rough first night, guys. No longer poison, though. That's the good news. Bad news is we have a mouse in front of us. And uh, we're low on health. And we don't have any water. This might be the end. <laughs> this might be the end. Nice. Okay, we're not even going to worry about it. Go collect some water. What I, what I walk into. Okay, where is our container? Okay. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Pour. Attach container. Let's see. Let's go start this up. Bam! Look at that. That was like the best thing I could have done. There we go. Alright. Now we can go chop this guy up. And let's go and collect this. Again, we're just going to keep doing bandages because that's kind of what we need. Um, could you could break what? Oh, this stone? Harvest? That's weird. I would want to repair a stone, huh? Let's just not do that, huh? <laughs> yeah, we can just, uh, we can do that. That's fine. There we go. Not a big deal. So now we can totally make a bow and some arrows. Alrighty. Oh, there comes another mouse. 
These mice are all over me. I'm just gonna rest. I did make a bandage. Let's just rest. Oh, let's use the bandage. There we go. Now we got a little bit of time. Come on. Oh. Didn't hit it. This really sucks. Because it's a very difficult. Very difficult for me to get water. I wish there was like a thing that told me how much longer I had. But uh, it doesn't appear, it doesn't appear as such. Negative five. It's because we are negative five in, in that. Let's go and heal ourselves. I didn't see any other fresh water that I could just light up with the thing and go for. Which is the biggest issue we have right now. We have to rely on seawater. Which means I kind of just have to walk around until that's done. Take the damage. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna try drinking some seawater. Okay, that made it worse. <laughs> Can confirm, that made it worse. Lost 15 stamina, satiated one hunger, gained two thirst. Okay. That's kind of what I imagined was gonna happen. Something not great. Well, I do believe this is the end, guys. There's nothing else I can do. Um, this won't give me any health. If I could make this, I mean, maybe it would help me. But at the same time, though, I don't think I don't think anything I do could fix me. There wasn't enough water around the area for me to start. I started off. I started up just a little bit too late. Ended up getting hurt and couldn't do anything about it. If somehow, if somehow I collected uh, enough water, it's possible. If this finished in the next, before I ticked for damage, it would be possible for me to survive. But I don't think it's going to. See, still not done. What is this? An egg. Yep, that even hurt me and poisoned me. But I'm no longer starving. I mean, I'm no longer dying of thirst. <laughs> but I only have one HP. Let's just go ahead and kill ourselves, shall we? Oh, wait, hold up. Man, we're so close. We're so close to living, guys. We're so close to not being dead. Oh. Could this could this be my savior? Could I survive? Oh, no. No. I'm probably dead. Probably dead here, guys. Yep. Damn. All right. Well, I think it's gonna call it for today's uh, little adventure. Sorry it didn't pan out very well. Um, zombies are a real threat. Now I know, though. I learned something especially valuable from this. I learned that um, one of the first things I should do is set up a base start my water production right away 
because that desalination process takes a while and if I get in fights and I get hurt I'm gonna be struggling so now I know for next time thank you all for watching make sure to comment rate and subscribe I'll catch you all in the next one peace out buds have a good day adios